It's Francis with your book of memories. Thank you so much for joining me for this new project share. I have created a new design. I'm going to call this one very simply a fun folio. I had an absolute blast creating this. I do have the tutorial already available on my website and I'll leave it at the top of the description box below. This amazing paper was given to me for Christmas by my friend Tamberly. Thank you so much Tamberly. She's one of my fans that I I know in person and she's just fantastic her and her mom Michelle I just I love you guys okay and I told you I'd make a tutorial using the paper you got me and here it is okay beautiful recollections paper from Michaels this is let's get lost unbelievable papers okay the album will speak for it okay I had an insanely fun time just decking it out totally doing whatever I wanted to it it just, it was magically just happening as I was going and I'm just so excited to share it with you all. So, I did use my camera stamp throughout this. This is an Echo Park rubber stamp actually and it comes with that Wedding Bliss paper. So, if you guys see that camera, that's where that's from. So, here's this super cute tassel that I actually have a tutorial on how to make this tassel already. And then that's some awesome paper right there. Look at the back. Oh my goodness. So right here on the front cover, I just have like this little frame that you can put a photo right inside there and slip it in. It's a little pocket frame. I cut that out of the paper. And then right here I have these Polaroid pictures that came with, you know, it came with two sheets each and it was just incredible. And I just went and stamped that on there and I layered these on. Oh my goodness. So when you open this up, we've got a left panel and a right panel. It's so much fun because look at this. You can see this cute little rainbow yarn. Okay. That's not yarn, that's twine. I'm just, I'm wow. I don't think I've had this much fun with a book in probably, I don't even know. This is, I'm telling you, this is extremely fun. Okay, so you have a uh, pocket access up here and I do have some clear plastic right there. So you can set a five by seven picture inside there. That's a fussy cut image. And again, just some layering. And there's a side pocket. There was a woman that I was inspired by, Scrap and Coffee, you guys. I will leave her link down below. She's an amazing artist. She's just getting started, it seems. And she's just, she's incredible. So here are some cut aparts right there. And I took uh, some of her ideas and she was inspired by me. So I took my, my ideas from her ideas and our ideas and you know how that works. And it's just this beautiful crafty idea blast. Okay, it's a party, okay. <laughs> and we actually have a large pocket right here that has an insert in it. So I think that's super cute. I just attached a little t um, tab right on there. And that just goes right back in here. And then when you open this up, it just goes like this and there's more picture space, of course. Some layering right there, some strips of the design paper in the back. And then this opens this way. Super cute little four by four space right there. Pictures and you have access to the pocket on the left side here. Oh my gosh, passport, okay. And we have these stacked pockets. I love it. Okay, so we got that and this. Okay, that's my magic trick. <laughs> okay, so that's super fun. Little cut aparts right there. And then we have another insert right here at the top. Again, another tab on there. Wow. I forgot to put my journaling lines on there. I'll come back and add those later. This little part drops down right here from our photo space. I love it so much. Explore. And then this opens up again and we have like this plastic pouch right here and some layering. I just love these little elements. I just fussy cut them out of the paper line as well as these. This opens up again and we've got some stuff in this pocket. You can fit quite a bit in there and the magnet still closes. Oh my gosh, just some picture space right there. Some of these, how fun. And then you can add some photos right there and a little bit of journaling right here. That's what it was supposed to look like right there. <laughs> okay. Oh, forgetting my journaling lines in some spots. That's funny. So this closes up like that, like this. 
and like that. Wonderful, that's just the left panel. So right here over here, we've got very simply photo mat space, journaling space. Oh my goodness, how adorable is this? Just open this up and then we've got some more picture space in here. I just love this. Again, we have access from the pockets from the sides right here. And then we have some more picture space, some more layers, a little angle pocket right there. Some more magic. A couple small photo spots right there. I absolutely love this key paper. Okay, the little gold foil accents. Look at that. This opens up this way. And over here again. And whoa, what do we got going on? Yeah, <laughs> a lot of cute stuff. Another Stampin' Up! tab right there. More layers. Super cute little fussy cut words. Some more layers. And I have this belly band closure idea. Check this out. I love it. And we've got a bunch of stuff in that belly band. And that goes down here. And cute little photo mat spot space right there. And here's all these. I've been to LAX, so that's super cool. This is the first time I've ever done this, actually putting a frame on top of the first waterfall flap, so I thought that was cool. I had a serious blast creating this book. I know I'm repeating myself, but I'm just telling you right now, it was so unbelievably fun. I couldn't even believe how much fun I was having. <laughs> I'm still having fun looking at it. But thank you everyone so much for watching. I'll leave the tutorial at the top of the description box below so you can go ahead and follow along. I cannot wait to see you over there. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Have an excellent day. Bye. Hello everyone, it's Francis with your book of memories. Welcome to the fun folio tutorial. In this series, I will be taking you through this entire project from start to finish. And I'll be demonstrating in detail the various steps and procedures used to create individual designs throughout this album. The supplies needed to create this fun folio will absolutely be your scoreboard. You guessed it, this is the Martha Stewart scoreboard. I got this one years ago. You can still buy these online on Amazon or in the Michael stores I saw. You will also need a paper trimmer of some kind. Again, they don't sell these at Hobby Lobby anymore, but I got uh, most of the other ones for my classes. I got a big old set from Amazon. I do have a brand new blade here. You can keep the sharpest one ready for paper. I will also be using this awesome ATG gun. I love it. You can get it at Michaels or Hobby Lobby. And also score tape brand double-sided adhesive. Okay, quarter inch and three eighths. I have my wonderful Tim Holtz scissors here. I ended up buying a new Martha Stewart bone folder. This is beautiful from Michaels. We're going to need two pieces of eight and a half by 11 chipboard. Okay, so this is medium weight. It's right here. Okay, I love it. Paper Studio. All you're gonna need is maybe 15 to 20 sheets of this. If you have this, you can follow along or you could use any other paper it is that you have at home, of course. Please stretch your creativity out. This is your book and there will be nothing like it in the whole world. That's how amazing it is. Let's check out these papers. Oh my goodness, there's two sheets each, single sided, 12 by 12. Okay, that's adorable. <laughs> okay, wow. I'm excited to use that. Love this, old fashioned. A little bit more of that, oh my goodness. Look at the flights, <laughs> these little planes, I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, I love this. I love this so much, that's ridiculous. I'm totally gonna incorporate that. So I'm here with my paper trimmer and I'm going to be removing this paper blade, setting it off to the side and bringing in the dull one. Along with my chipboard right here, so that's wonderful. You can pick any one of these sides here, just one, and attach your tape right along here. You can cut it, tear it with your finger, or you can get your acrylic block, set it on the side, and just tear it like that. And you're constantly straight and ready to stick this next piece on. Okay, so once that's on, you can go ahead and give that a nice easy burnish with your fingers, or even come back with your bone folder. And we're just gonna remove this tape backing, and just set this paper right on top. Be easy on yourself, okay? Because this is a handmade book, so that's the most beautiful part. This is so easy. 
And you can put as many or as few strips of this tape as you'd like. It's your book. You're going to do it your way. And that's just, that's just so awesome to have this freedom. The freedom to create anything you want. And you can use any adhesive that you want. And remember, there's an overlapping piece on the back, so over a half inch. We cannot lay any of these edges by the edge of our paper. Then we'll have a boo-boo, and you'll be unhappy with me. Once you get that first piece down, go ahead and give it a nice press. We'll come back and burnish on the back of that later. But now, the next step is to get this spine piece on. And come back and get under here. Keep my hand here and do a nice little crease upright. That's going to be the first flap that I stick down. It can bend and fold and flex and stretch just a little bit. So now I like to get the center down first, put my thumbs here, and then I work diagonally toward the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and flatten this out, and again, I'm going to use that part of the bone folder, and I'm just going to crease this in. So that's one piece, three and a half by ten. That is labeled F flap. We are going to score this one with the four and one quarter inch side along the top right here. And I'm just going to simply score it half an inch. And as you'll notice, there's an indented part and then there's a protruding part. I like to fold onto the protruding part. I like to get the biggest part of the paper first and fold it onto itself. And then I come back and start center up, center down. So on every single piece, you have a mountain side and then you have the valley. I like to lay it out flat like this and I like to have my acrylic block handy and I just start attaching all the tape to all the little half inch flaps. But I like to mark in all sides, 5 eighths of an inch. I'm going to line the 5 eighths of an inch mark at the edge of the paper consistently and I make a carpenter mark right here at the beginning of the ruler. I like to cut from the score mark outward, so it's going to look like this, and then I'll flip it and do the same like that. I'm going to remove that first piece and I'm just going to line this up top left corner, directly on top of this paper. What helps to make a good waterfall is to always keep your eye out for anything being crooked over here. Even if it's a slightly a bit off, it's going to add up over time. So let's keep that as straight as possible. Once I see that my corner is lined up, I stick my thumb here. You can center these in as best you can between these two score marks. You could do a measurement if you want or you could just use your eyeball. That's what I'm going to do. And then we have two D's which are 2 and 11 sixteenths by 2 and a half. So I can use these scraps. Beautiful. Into the pile they go. I believe I stuck mine towards this way, so that's what I'm going to do. Now we're just going to stay an eighth away from the score mark and then just line everything up nicely. And I'm going to give a little test run there. And that looks awesome. So that's what I'm going to do for these. The bottom flap is going to be one piece right here underneath, five and a quarter by four and a quarter.